Not since the horrors of the Black Plague has our land seen such despair. Almost two millennia after Sigmar founded the Empire, the realm is fractured and broken. Three rival factions claim the Imperial Crown, Marienburg, Middenheim, and Reitland. Lure of power brings the armies of men against one another in a seemingly endless tide of battle. An island of peace in a sea of conflict, Mordheim drew wealth such as the city had never seen into its walls. But with its prosperity came the corruption of arrogance and hedonism and greed. The gods could not long abide the outrages of Mordheim's populace. In the heavens, an ill star appeared. A great twin-tailed comet that some priests warned was nothing less than a hammer of Sigma. They preached tidings of doom and repentance, but their sermons were ignored. An attitude of rebellious revelry gripped the city as the comet grew ever nearer. The grand festival to celebrate the turn of the year was a mockery of the apocalyptic prophecies. It was then that the hammer fell. The fiery comet plowed through the city, gouging a deep crater in the midst of the poor quarter. The wondrous palace of Count Steinhard was broken. The grand amphitheater shattered. The vast great library blighted by a pall of ash. Fire and smoke decimated the populace, but worse awaited the survivors. A malignant corruption that brought with it mutation and madness. The vile taint of chaos. In the shattered city, strange green black. All right. It's uh, so atmospheric. I love that. I love that intro, but we'll, um, we'll cut it short. So we can nice get into the action. To die. Or maybe live a little longer. <laughs> yes, we survived. No great swords lost. Exactly. Our captain went down. Um, two of our other guys went down. A bunch of them got um, crippling injuries, including our captain. <laughs> um, but apart from that, it was fine. But we, did, yeah, we didn't lose any great swords. That's the important thing. Because um, honestly, the dudes are actually kind of more replaceable than the great swords almost. Um, we're still, we still don't have a full set of purple greatswords. We've still got one guy using a blue greatsword at the moment, and we've got one spare blue greatsword. But if we lose, like, if we lose two greatswords, then we're going to have dudes that we're using white greatswords again, you know? Um, so it's, um, yeah, it's pretty rough. But also, this guy got, um, an internal wound. He's got, permanently loses one offense point, which is, um, super bad. <laughs> it means that, because... The first attack with a greatsword costs two, the second costs three, and the third, if you're a hero, costs four. So two, three, and four, that's nine. So with only eight maximum offense points, that means that we can only attack twice instead of three times, which is, you'll agree, a lot worse. <laughs> it's 33% worse. Um, also, if he uses order skill, which costs three points, um, he can't... Um, well, he can, yeah, he can sort of, yeah, I guess he can sort of work around it by, he can attack twice and then use order to make somebody else attack a third time. Um, so that kind of works out, I guess. Um, but yeah, he's permanently fucked, basically. So we're looking for a replacement for him, or if we can, he's level four. He's level seven. Yeah, we got this guy's level seven. Um, but, um, yeah, he's a bit shit. I don't think I created him correctly. Um, we got a rank six hero with minus one strength. Rank four with no injuries yet. Yeah, I don't know. We could kind of keep looking. At, we could, mm, yeah, I don't know. We could keep looking out for another, um, for another captain. Um, or 
we could make um, this guy into. Oh, I didn't. I already used all his passives. We could have put we could have put born leader on him and made this guy the new leader. Um, but yeah, we can't now. Um, we could get another warrior priest, I guess. But no, we can't. Hmm. Yes, I don't know whether to keep using this guy, even though he's busted up. Well, he's wounded out. He's out for four turns anyway. Four days. So I guess we'll just be keeping him as our, like, emergency guy now. Alas. Yes, this guy's got... Hmm, this guy sucks. This guy's not nowhere near as good as our other captain. But, so it is, so it goes. At least he's got armor proficient. So that's something. Yeah, we had a real bad... We had a real bad uh, last mission. Um, yeah, this guy got um, uh, old battle wounds, so his minus one accuracy, and he got a broken jaw, so his um, leadership is reduced by one. Um, but you know, he's still he's still fine, basically. Gruber, I think he's ready for action. So we'll put the hands Gruber in instead of this guy. And gas scope the forlorn. We don't need him right now. Um she needs um, oh, she can do master insult. That puts her out for another turn. But that's okay. And he needs... Um... Not really sure what he needs, actually. Give him shield of... Shield of shielding gives him plus 12 melee resistance. That's pretty cool. 56 melee resistance, yeah. Just means that they'll miss more often. And then we want to give him, like, a Sigmarite Great Hammer of... Hmm. Hmm. 
So give him a Sigmarite Great Hammer. A Sigmarite Wormer of Havoc. And a Sigmarite Wormer of Misfortune. So that would put them both together. That would be 12% Divine Wrath Chance Reduction. Um, but, um, but yeah, we could give him... Eventually we can get Enchanted Versions. Um, I might just sell... Sell all these extra weapons so that we don't have to sort through them every time. Shield of Shielding and Hammer of Hammering. Now, Shield of Shielding is good. It's like melee defense. But um, yeah, all right, cool. I think we're pretty much operational, ready to go. I found some, we got given some fine quality fighting claws. Very handy. All right, let's go. So, I like to always go for the hardest ones. So we've got two deadlies. Now, uh, what do we got? Uh, each warband deploys in a white arc. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Um, marked for death is not too bad. Uh, one warband deploys tightly. The other's scattered around the area. That one's um, that one's a better setup. Like two, each warband deploys in a white arc is like quite safe, and you're quite far away from each other. You got time to get organized and stuff, so it's good. But this one um, has the Wordstone Rush, which means that there's it's a bit easier for us to actually complete the secondary mission, which will give us more bonus XP. Yeah. So, enemy warriors have been spotted all over the area in small groups, as if they were scattered by something. You stage your warband near your wagon, ready to take advantage of the enemy's misfortune. All right. A okay. new round has hey, if anyone's started. interested in buying this, I think it's still on special for like 90% off on Steam. Um, let's just check that. Mordheim Steam. Uh, oh no, it's not on sale anymore. It's just finished. It's normally, it's all, almost always on sale for like 90% off. So you can usually pick it up for like $2 or whatever. It's currently not on sale. So don't buy it from Steam at the moment. But um, I'm sure if you check out the other, um, you know, well-known gaming outlets like um, Instant Gaming, GOG, uh, you know, all those ones, um, usually one or more of them will have it on special for like a dollar or something. Um, it's, it's a few years old, this game, so yeah, you can get it really cheap, but it's actually really cool. It's quite got a really deep combat system and you can level up all your guys and there's all these different builds that you can, you can do. And um, so, yeah, it's quite fun. Um, the other thing is it's very, um, it takes a long time to like level up your guys and unlock all their abilities and everything. So it's, you can't just kind of like, be like, oh, I'm going to do this warband. And then tomorrow be like, oh, I want to do a totally different setup with focusing on different skills. You know, like each time you want to make a new warband, you've got to kind of go through the the uh, rigmarole of like leveling up all your guys and choosing your skills and stuff. There's no like respecs or anything like that. But 
that's kind of cool but it is really atmospheric look at that like i feel like yeah, every shot every scene in this game is like a screenshot like just a classic warhammer spooky sc uh, screenshot just got the best um atmosphere it's cool so yeah we're waiting for the opponent they're all faster than us as they usually are we're up against the skaven the backstabbing backstabbers is the name of the opposing gang. Just finished off some ogres as Volkmar today. Man, why'd you have to say Volkmar? Now I want to play Volkmar. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking about, um, I don't know, maybe we could like play i wonder if you could oh, i don't know i wonder if you could play as carl franz and like rush over near azag and um rescue those ogres those tree hammers or whatever is it the tree hammers no the tree hammers are the other are different ogres that are near Dryker, aren't they and then there's those other ogres that are near azag i think that's right there's two different tribes of ogres in the east it'd be kind of cool to like rush over there and then um like ally with those ogres and then um and then yeah like protect their camp and what have you and keep them as your allies so you can always get like ogre allies for your uh, empire forces it's quite handy having an ogre you know party an ogre um, camp in the middle of your uh lands so you can just always have siege attackers look at my proud great swords ready to charge into battle all right, so we got a nice setup, all tightly bound around our um, around our wagon. We've got to pick up eleven of these. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven right there. So if we can just run down here and get that one, and then those seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, we get nine, and we'll kill a few of their guys and loot them. I think that'll be good for us. No, I'm just going to put a marker on. You can press um, middle mouse to get this top down view. Um, and then you can um, just click left click on the map to put a marker on there. And then if you're lucky, face south. If you face south west, there's that marker there. You can just see a blue marker through there. Help us navigate a little bit. What's going on here? Is this just a dead end? What can we run around? Oh no, we can run around here. Watch out for rats. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna ambush, but I'll still have enough room for, I'll still have enough to left for two counterattacks, even if they outmaneuver my ambush, so it's all right. Oh, this is a good spot. So I can actually go here, so we get extra range, but then like run back around here. Right up. So go here so we get extra range. Then run back around here without touching that blue dot. Grab this. Objectives updated. Brother Wolf. Alright, yeah, if we can secure that wordstone, then hopefully.
Fuck. Get wrecked, son! Lap. He's gonna counterattack me. Oosh. We got contact. We are engaged with the enemy. I am, um, yeah, I overextended a bit too much with my captain. But um, hopefully we can stack up on him and rescue, rescue him from the uh, foul beasts. That doesn't help. This is uh, Moritz, my uh, my main champion. Trying to get everybody as far up towards the front as we can. So yeah, what's likely to happen on their turn is that they're gonna have like two or three more guys that are nearby because they've got really long movement range. They're all just gonna swarm in, and my captain's gonna have you know he's gonna be fighting one versus three next turn. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Um. Yeah, he's gonna be, he's gonna be outnumbered and getting wrecked um, before too long. But hopefully he can survive one round. A new round has started. Um, it is pretty. It is one good thing about this game is that you can hi get hired swords, and uh, at max level you can get level seven characters that you can hire them already. You know, already skilled up. Um, so, you know, worst case scenario, if our captain dies, we can potentially find a new level seven captain at some point and um, use him to replace. Replace these this busted captain that's about to die. Filthy rats. I think he just threw poison at my other guys. Yeah, they're pretty over to overpowered, those um, Skaven, um, um, what are they called? Uh, poison Wind Globe it is. They, um, yeah, they've been able to throw those poison clouds around everywhere. I think they can actually heal with them as well. Oh man. If my captain survives, we're going to unleash a holy vengeance upon those two rats. I'm a bit worried they might have one more in range that can stack up on him and he's going to die before I get a chance to <clears throat> defend him. lives he yet lives yeah so we're trying to go in this poison 
sort of hard to tell exactly where it is sometimes. Um, Um, all right, I might try to... Get a sneaky charge in here. Dodged. What a bastard. All right, he's gonna have to make a leadership test next turn. Because we've um, stacked up a few guys on top of him. Um, I think I got poisoned then. We can do healing hand. Um, do 80% 80 health and 80 health heal on um, Gammon von Krupp if it succeeds. Alright, cool. He might actually better survive another round now. Um, could I could heal him again, but I might I might backfire and hurt myself. Um so I might just cruise around here, grab these wordstones. Objectives updated. Objectives updated. Objectives updated. <laughs> the smack on this guy. We're gonna miss. Um, Alright, second attack. Actually, let's do Warcry. Actually, no, wait, let's. Um, you press spacebar to see all your items in your backpack plus your skills and everything. Um, Warcry increases melee damage by 20% for one turn. Um, yeah, I might walk right. No, I might delay. Yeah, I might delay. And we'll get our other guys in. Delay them as well. And then we can walk right everybody. Going on with this poison. All right, we can charge from there. Before we do that, we'll frenzy for thirty percent extra damage. Berserker. Delay. That sucks. Just gonna walk him in and we'll delay. Is this spreading or 
Am I just... Let's war cry these four. Everyone's got 20% extra damage. This is really the first time I've really used this skill actually effectively. Um, but yeah. Alright, nice. One down. Use a healing draft on myself. We may die or we may not die, but we fight in the name of Sigma. Indeed. This guy's nearly healed up now with these um, healing draft plus his heal from um, plus his um, heal from the warrior priest. It's kind of a good combo. I was hoping this guy was going to, um... Objectives updated. All right, let's put this guy over here. In ambush stance, so that you know the rats, if they try to out, um, if they try to over, if they try to stack up on on my other guys, then these uh, ambushes will stop them from being able to stack up. A new round has started. Cool. We failed his all alone check, so uh, that's really good because because we're all stacked up together here. He'd be he could have just he could have just like thrown one poison bomb and hit everybody. Um, but because he failed his all alone check, he doesn't get to have an action. So that was quite good. Fortunately, there's not really much you can do to make all alone tech checks harder. They, um, like, they, you can get, like, enchantments on your weapons that you can use, and, um, but, yeah. I don't know if there's like a blue line skill that you can do to reduce all line check ability. Like a, um, hmm, it might be. Is there like, a, I think Intimidate is the one that makes them run away, which is pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I don't know if there's, I, I know there's an enchantment that you can use that does like dismay or whatever, which basically every time you hit them, it gives them like a minus five penalty to all loan checks or something like that. Um, but I'm not sure if there's. It'd be cool if you had like a, a um, like a, a, a yell or something you could do that would reduce their chance to increase the chance to fail all loan tests, so that if you you know had somebody outnumbered, you could um, yeah make them. Make him fail a leadership test. And yeah, there might be. I, I don't know. Well, there might be like an attack that you can do that special attack that has an extra chance or something. Yeah, I thought this was a really bad start with um with our captain getting wrecked, but it actually is looking like it's not, not too bad at all. Objectives updated.
Electric objectives updated. Now that we've um, now it's a new turn, so our um, our chance to um, blow ourselves up has um, refreshed. Hey, boop boop. There is no victory in Mordheim. There's only survival for one more day. This is cool. Oh, shit. That's bad. Further, we get minus two, minus one max OP and SP. It's not as bad as it could be. Like, sometimes you can get one that does like nine, 999 damage to you and just instantly kills you. Uh, which can, which sort of sucks. All right. Got eight out of 11 word stones. Start moving out towards. I guess we'll move towards their um, move towards their wagon and that word's down there. I don't know how much. I might just uh, delay. Is that way I can pop? Um, Yeah, I'll war cry these guys. And then we'll um, pop this dude. Hey soldier. Thanks for the um, thanks for the super thanks super super chat. You're a legend. I'll, uh, I'm not sure if we've got Soldier with us in this particular... I don't think Soldier's with us here. Yeah, I think he might be back. Oh, no, there he is. There's Soldier. Right there. He's, uh, they got a little shield over his head. So he yet lives. Objectives updated. A few of our guys are like crippled or insane now though. Objectives updated. <laughs> All right. We're up to 10 out of 11 wordstones, so we just got to get one more piece. So maybe we can get that piece or if we can kill another Skaven and take their wordstone. That would also work. Alright, let's walk down here a bit. <laughs> they told you what's that for? There's another super chat. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. I'll, um... I'll, I'll make an extra special effort to keep Soldier alive for this camp, for this mission. Yeah, there's that. that. There. I'll put a little marker on it. That's their leader over there. Imagine he's going to loot that. 
We can... We can steal their idol, but if I do... Yeah, I'll steal their idol. Um, that means that we're going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to win. Ah! Well, that's the effects of the poison still operating on him. Soldier's going to bravely run up to the front line, enter into ambush stance. To watch Moritz back. Soldier's role in this warband is to basically sacrifice himself so that better men can live. So he will bravely do that. Um, actually, who is damaged? Uh, no one's really that damaged. That's no, right. We'll just let him stay here. Um, what does Armor of Righteousness do? Increases Armor Absorption by 20%. Like, that's actually really cool. Can we Armor of Righteousness somebody? Well, Armor of Righteousness soldier, soldier. So he's got more chance of staying alive. Oh shit, we need to get that, we need to get that devotion, um, enchantment. Because at the moment we've still got like a slight chance to blow ourselves up. I would gladly live my life so that my brothers in arms could live as a soldier valiantly. While his comrades tremble in fear. Yeah, so basically what these guys do a lot of the time is stand around in ambush and ambush stance so that like yeah, our main defense is that we try to spread the damage so that each guy only take gets hit once ideally once or twice um so yeah, basically everyone stands in ambush stance when we're waiting to get into a fight so that we can split up the enemies so that they go 1v1 onto our guys and then when it's my turn we try to then stack up onto them as much as we can so we, yeah, so basically we're, we want to avoid, yeah, the object is to avoid getting more than one of them hitting any one, any one of our guys, but to get as many of our guys as possible stacked up on each one of their guys. <laughs> um, it's very basic, but that's pretty much all we can really do in this warband because we've got, um, yeah, not much to work with. Apart from, we just got armor and damage. This is Pirano the Bold. Enough paranoic is into is uh, in the office today. A new round has started. All right. There he goes, protecting his brothers. Taking the hits. Let no blow go unanswered. Medic! It's time for um, Brother Wolf to... What's that noise? Oh, I think there's a rat somewhere trying to climb who just keeps falling down. Or maybe... Oh, or is there... Is there a demon? Oh, there might be a demon over here. Because these guys are getting busted up. Yeah, that, that guy's taking 60 damage. So the sounds of Skaven fornication. <laughs> um, I think there's a demon over there that we can't see on the other side of that wall. And it's currently kicking the shit out of these Skaven. Hmm. We need one more piece of wordstone before we, we uh, 
bike it on out of here. Yeah, that's some really good luck for us because that means two of their guys are basically going to be tied up with that demon and unable to swarm over us and get us outnumbered. If we can get this bit of wordstone under there, that would be super, super cool. Right, try and move as far as we can. Oh, I don't think this guy can actually run very far, so... He's not really gonna... ...do much. Um... I might run this guy up and we'll chuck a we'll chuck a sweet heal onto soldier. Oh, I failed. And we debuffed ourselves as well. Legendary. Alright, that's fine. I've got to get this. Got to get this word stone. Objective completed. Yeah, we got backlashed, but at least we didn't die. This is this is really cool having this guy having the heals. He's got a heal and he's got a really powerful armor spell that um that basically can buff buff our dudes. And I, want, I kind of want another one, another warrior priest now. I don't know if that would be uh, cheating though. My great swords would be not great swordy enough if they had two uh, warrior priests. Got enough um, wordstone now to finish it. It'd be really cool to have a second warrior priest, though. I must say. Whoosh! Big hit. Twenty percent extra damage from Warcry. Can't loot their wagon. There's soldiers in the way. Alright. Well, in that case, we'll just have to go berserk. It's gonna pop a frenzy. 30% extra damage. Hey, Nicholas. Yeah, glad you could make it, buddy. Alright, so we've got 20% extra from Ward Cry, 30% extra from Frenzy, and 50% extra from Charging for a massive. Yeah, 50, 30, 20, and 36 extra from strength as well. Splat! <laughs> you be dead. Ooh. Um, Alright, he struck him down. Mightily. Um, Alright, so we go and kill this demon or what? Leave the demon alone. But we're great swords. We need to fight evil wherever we find it. Moritz is like, I sense evil. Oh Jesus, it's a chaos ogre.
Berserker! <laughs> oh, damn it. You missed. <laughs> Demon is no de exactly. Chaos, chaos uh, ogres are no match for our mighty squad of heroes. Crap! Can't reach. He's got he's got three or four of them stacked up on him. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, what can we get? Ah. We could get a charge on that other one. That would be more ideal. Because I want to get two on one. Can we... Try for an even... Oh, motherfucker. No, that fucked that. Alright, well, we can just come over here and loot this body. Yeah, maybe if we're lucky, we can let the Skaven. Bazooka! Yeah. Fuck. A new round has started. That's cool. I haven't seen a uh, Chaos Ogre up close for. I love how he's got like four of them stacked on him. I'm, I'm sure they're going to rout before we get to kill them all, but. He's a big boy. It'd be cool if we could let. if they could get him down to like 10% health and then we can finish him off. I think you get like um, five. I think you get five XP for killing him, compared to the one that you get for killing normal guys. Haha, -ha, you missed. Yeah, being in combat gives them. Um, if you're in melee, then anyone trying to shoot you gets a pretty big penalty to hit you. Oh, it's a big scary chaos ogre. If we can, can we run through? There's a Skaven in the, inside the building. What's he doing in there? Sketchy little rat creature. Does anyone need a heal? Mm, no, no one really needs a heal. Just chuck an armor of righteousness onto uh into Moritz. That's pretty sick that armor of righteousness. It's twenty percent. Then so with the forty five forty Yeah, forty percent heavy from heavy armor, I think. And then you get 5% from a helmet, and then another 5% from having mastery level um, armor proficiency. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool.
All right, here we go. Um, One, two, three, four. See, he's got four engaged on him, which is pretty cool. I don't know, or should I just stay in here, maybe? Ah. See, so if I sit back, if I stay here, then I can, um, I can war cry everyone. That way, next time when they um, take their actions, it'll be it'll be glorious. <laughs> Fucking hell! Right. Game looks like it's still set to Warhammer Three on your end. Uh, oh, it is. Uh, oh yeah, it is too. Yeah, sorry about that. I um, yeah, I changed the title, but I forgot to change the uh, game that's listed as on Twitch. Liking this other captain with the war cry, it's kind of cool. But yeah, this um, frenzy guy needs war cry as well, or something. I don't, actually, I don't think you can get. I think you can only get war cry on captains, um, on leaders. But yeah, he needs something else to use up his. Um, needs something else to use up his. to kill him. charge oh bro um all right we use adrenaline rush to get an extra red pill so we can attack twice i should have just not bothered with the charge because i knew he probably had dodge and he was likely to dodge the first attack nice ogre softened him up for us Put a second guy on this guy, so he has to roll a leadership test before he does anything. might run out of rats for the ogre to be engaged with and then we'll be um yeah we'll just be fighting the ogre so i'm not sure how i feel about that oh 
A new round has started. Oh, well. What did he do then? He, like, hit himself. Oh, is he healing? Oh, bro. Is he getting health back every time he hits them? I think that's what was happening. <laughs> All right, we didn't get to kill him. That was a nice, um, that was a nice easy mission for a deadly mission. That went pretty smooth. Vanquishing the foe upon the field of battle is a great feeling. It is even better when you're getting paid for it. The mighty beast escaped. We lost our five our five experience points. Remarkable. We got plenty of XP though. All of our lads are leveling up nicely. Oh, that was a quick. That was a pretty quick one. My uh, oh, master formula of hardiness. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we've got um. This is not, not even any injuries that time. It was nice. Um. Yeah, I don't think we've got the. Sigma right, why am I? Yeah, here we go. Um, and then enchanting. Enchanting, yeah. So we need um, Rune of Devotion. Oh, well, cool, we can. So it's got a built-in 6% chance to not Divine Wrath us. Um, and yeah, if we put a Rune of Devotion on it, it gives it another 6%. So it's 12% reduction. Um, so yeah, so then we can pretty much... I think, well, that's 12%. And then we've got Devotion, which gives another 15. So 20, that's 25%, 27%, sorry. And uh, Healing Hand, Divine Wrath, 30%. So we've only got, so if we've only got a 3% chance, that means, if uh, which is pretty good. Armor's 25, so we can cast Armor every turn without blowing ourselves up, no problem. It lasts for two turns as well, so that's actually pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, having a warrior priest is actually nice because he almost acts like a leader. So you have like a warrior priest and um, a warrior priest and a leader. So the leader can use can act as a frontline fighter, or he can use order, and he can use war cry to buff everybody, which is pretty cool. Um, and the warrior priest can either, you know, buff like buff people so they're more tanky if if somebody gets stuck in a doorway or something then he can buff them to make them more tanky um or he can heal them which is pretty cool you can also heal poison as well pretty cool hmm i'm sort of thinking now yeah i don't think we want a, another warrior priest captain but another warrior priest hero so we've got two warrior priests could be pretty good Switch out, maybe switch out the Sister Superior for another Warrior Priest. <clears throat> so I'd have like two Warrior Priests and two Champions as our normal, as our standard uh, team. Yeah, there's no ranking, no ranked out Warrior Priests we can get. The Hands Gruber. Uh, he needs resilient. He's got. Uh, he needs hardy or resilient. Uh, so we go hardy for two days, or resilient for three days. Um. I don't know. I think resilient is probably the more key one because if you get crit. Getting crit, it, crit really sucks.
Alrighty. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if, I wonder if it's worthwhile putting in like a level one warrior priest. Level, probably not. I'd probably just wait till we get a level seven warrior priest come up in the hired swords, or at least like level six or something. That's probably the way to go. Trap resistance. Nice. I don't know if I should give him more health or what. It's got Hardy. Frenzy. What else can I give him that gives him more damage? I like, oh, give him like Mighty Charge or something like that. Or give him like Dodge pen Penetration or something. Man, halves the chance of rolling, halves the chance of getting multiple injuries and doubles the chance of getting full recovery. But, I mean, as much as you don't want to waste like six points on like something that doesn't actually make you better in combat, like that would make you almost like invincible. Should be pretty cool. Um, I think I want him to have as much damage as possible. Probably, yeah. Uh, he's gonna be our big, our big heavy hitter. I might just fire this guy, I think. Um, and then we could... Mm. Yeah, I could get a rank zero warrior priest in there. It's kind of, kind of suck though. He's only got 110 hit points. He's going to instantly die like if he gets into combat it's really just no point in taking him in at all yeah we'll just go in with um we'll just go in with um, one man down should be fine um give this lad a two-hander Cool. Once he levels up, we can get resilient on him. I don't know if I should give him alertness. Well, nah. Maybe we should give him... Maybe we should go for 9 Intelligence and give him... Um, knowledge Mordheim. Make him super fast. Hmm. Yeah, that could be good. That seems Intelligence can get it up to 15, maybe. Hmm. What can we, we can give him, can we give him?
Yeah, I think this guy's screwed because he doesn't have enough intelligence. Is you know to make him a proper order leader, you need to give him um, you need to give him master level. Um, Master level battle tongue. Oh, it's leadership based. Oh no, you need for intelligence. You need intelligence for like introspection. How many points do you have for? Uh, yeah, so you need six to get battle tongue. Um, Hmm. Anyway, that's alright. Let's just rock another one. Get some more money. Get some more loots. More XP's. New hired swords are available. Nice. Alright. Uh, we'll sell. We just got a free halberd. Sell that. And what new hired swords did we get? Oh, we got a rank one warrior priest who's healthy at the moment. With 126 HP. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much point buying him. We got a rank four, a rank four captain. What's our other captain? Rank ten, rank four. We already got a rank four. There's no point getting another one, I guess. Oh yeah, this captain is just a, like a warrior. He's just he's just built the same as our warrior guys. We've got a brutal. Okay. So brutal looks like the hardest this time. No diddlies. Both warbands are scattered randomly, alright? That's pretty bad, but that's fine. Let's see how it rolls. Just as you were closing to engage a rival warband, the horrific manifestation of the ghostly town crier causes both groups of warriors to flee in terror. As the apparition fades away, your warriors recover their courage. Scattered in their fright, you a new round has started. Oof. Heretics, heretical witch hunters, fake, fake followers of Sigma. I like Necromanda. Uh, I, mean, I liked Necromanda, but just not as much as this. I don't know why. I just like like this. Just feels so cool to me, you know. Whereas Necromanda, like it was okay, but didn't. I don't know. Like the characters weren't as cool to me. I guess. Uh, like the Escher gang, I thought was pretty cool, but like the Goliath gang, I didn't really like that much. Like the Goli and Goliath was probably my second favorite, but like. Yeah, just like the gangs themselves, I didn't really like as much as the gangs in this. Um, and also just the atmosphere of like the world as well. Check this out, our dudes are all mixed together and stuff. It's just like, it's just a free for all straight away. This guy's got an arrow straight to his chest. But yeah, if they did a new game like um, based on Kill Team, that'd be pretty cool. Wow. 
this is actually kind of not bad for us in a way because our guys hit hit for the most damage on their first strike because they've got two-handed weapons. Um, so two-handed weapons do like extra damage, but they but if you hit more than once, they do less and less damage as you get tired. So this is kind of I mean it's not it's not great because we're getting ambushed and they're getting the first attack on us, but at least our guys are fuck getting to like counterattack with their one big hit, which is pretty sweet. Fuck off. Oh, that, I don't like the look of that two-handed axe. Ooh, 90 damage. Jesus. Brother Wolf's going to have a fair bit of um, healing to do today. They got two warrior priests. So the last one was a deadly, but this one and this one's only brutal. But because of the setup, this one's actually like more dangerous because it's just we're in this crazy free for all melee, just straight off. Are all of the guys immune to... So the Zealots are not immune to all alone. I think. Yeah, I probably could chuck a heal on this guy. Spill. Crap. What does Lightbearer do? Lightbearer, minus 50% range resistance, but immune to all alone. Oh, that's kind of cool. He's immune to all alone now. Not bad. Right near their, um, ah, oh, fuck, look at this mess. Like, this is uh, this over here, uh, he's gonna die. Like, fuck, this guy's by himself. There's just shit everywhere. All right, first thing we're gonna do is steal their, um, steal their idol. So that's basically as if we've just downed one of their guys already. They get like minus 16 morale. So that's a good start. <clears throat> and then... And I'd like to try and save our champion. But... I don't know. It might, maybe we should just all run in here and try and stack up in there and just abandon these three. That might be a more realistic. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I just try to kill. Um... Is this game need another tactics, or is it mostly about builds? Hey, factory worker. Um, both, both. Yeah. Um, it's. Uh, yeah, it's a. It's you want to carefully place your guys and kind of engage in certain orders and stuff like that. Um, I'd say that's probably more. I mean, I think both aspects are important, but. I think the tactical aspect is probably more not that it's super complex but it's probably more important to just learn the basic tactics than it is the builds almost This particular warband that I'm doing right now is like an extremely non-optimal warband. Like it's not really, um, you know, very good. <laughs> yeah, but it's just it's just a roleplay thing. Like I just love Karaburg, the Karaburg great swords, and so I, basically all of my mercs have got heavy armor and great swords, which is, I mean, like having heavy armor and great swords isn't necessarily a bad thing. But having the limitation of having every guy in your warband or every or all of my mercs which is most of my warband, always having heavy armor and great swords, is does yeah reduce your reduce your options quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I did another series called um, something like starting a vampire warband from rank zero, and at the start of that, I talk a lot more about you know how to start a warband and strategies for how to let your warband surviving and stuff like that. It does simplify tactics. That's right. There's only, there's no, there's very limited amount of <laughs> tactics involved. All right, let's um let's frenzy up. It only gives us fifteen percent extra. I think he doesn't. I don't think he's got master, but um, he's gonna be dead in a minute anyway. Oh, he's got master frenzy. Yeah, thirty percent extra. So that's cool. But yeah, he's still gonna be dead in a second. So. Boosh. Nice hit. <clears throat> I don't know if I should run over here and try and save the champion or run in here and try and finish these guys. If we can finish these guys quick, then we can um we can, you know, kind of roll out and roll out and um and definitely, you know, kind of win. Um, Adrenaline rush, so we're going to take 30 damage next turn. But right now we do another 42 damage to help finish this guy a bit quicker. Yeah, maybe I should have saved the champion. I may live to regret that decision. finally actually kill this guy nope not today yeah yeah the champion's probably gonna die which sort of sucks but you know it is what it is this guy's probably gonna die too Yeah, see, like this guy, because he's level um, 
it's like level six or something like that he's only got four red pills and when the two-handed sword it costs two red pills to hit the first time and then three the second time so normally when you're at this level you probably change to a one-handed weapon and shield because they don't this the cost doesn't go up so four red pills mean you could attack twice with a one-handed weapon whereas um and twice with a one-handed weapon will do more damage than once with a two-handed weapon um plus you got a shield um so yeah so only so having that limitation of only having great swords the whole time from level one started. up is yeah quite bad <laughs> that was extremely lucky i guess uh it just means he's gonna get to get killed by the warrior priest instead man now i kind of really wish i had a sent a guy another guy in there because you know, the Warrior Priest now potentially is, if he, or if the Warrior Priest had another target, then he might live, but if the Warrior Priest is going to whack like three or four hits into him, then he's probably going to die. Yeah, defense is not really their strong point. Fighting one-on-one -on -one duels like this doesn't really work for them. We just need to kill as fast as possible. He might live. I think he might live. Nice. Alright, we'll definitely try to save the champion this turn. Oh, big hit from the axe, miss. Big, big whoosh from the great axe. Wrecked son. Um, actually, I'm going to go on this side because that will um, block. So I'm engaging this guy, but that guy there has got an easy ambush stance, and so there's probably a little thin sliver where he can charge out this way. So by doing this, my circle's going to block that charge, block that ambush for that guy, so he's going to be just kind of in there by himself. Used up his dodge at least. Yeah, see, this guy's got two red pills left over as well that he can't use, so it's like, yeah. Um... Everybody's pretty healthy in here. So let's go and see if yeah, see that guy, see that guy. He would have been able to charge out this way, but because that guy, because I placed that guy there, yep, the uh, young blood, sorry, blocked, blocked it so that the flagellant couldn't get out. Um. This prick here. And there's three movement. Interesting. Okay. I don't know, I feel like we're just about as far as we can possibly be. Oh. Saving Private Ryan, I know. Didn't work. Alright, this guy... Movement 9. What's he got? Movement 9? 
Oh, because I stole their um, I stole their flag. Okay, this guy has got heaps of movement, so he should be able to make it all the way over there. I think I can charge that dude from like the other side of the map. I'm coming. I will save you. Charge, I'm going to stand in combat with this guy, but I'm going to order him so that he hopefully kills the other guy behind him. But it's random, he might hit this guy, he might hit the other guy. Ah, oh, I hit the wrong dude. Um, Barrett, well, whatever. Hey, soldier, soldier just did another super chat. Thanks, buddy, you're a legend. Appreciate it. Good wreck, son. I'm not liking this damnation spell that he's put us under. Oh, we're winning this duel. Oh, big crit. Good work, soldier. <laughs> you must have been inspired. Just drilled this, just drilled this noob. No, we don't need his trash, trash weapons. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's over here. Oh, cool. He's in the perfect spot. Um, you're in the perfect spot to sacrifice yourself to save the lives of one of you. Fuck. You're in the perfect spot to save the life of, of your betters. Over here. So, um, yeah, now there's a chance that he'll hit you with that giant flail instead of, uh, instead of our champion over there. For the Empire. Indeed. Soldier throws his body onto the line. Oh, big crit. He's down. Um, yeah, all right. We'll put Chesson in on this guy. That way he can't, um, at least he can't charge. Ah, oh, fuck. Man, could have killed him that turn. Would have been glorious. He could have lived. All right, we've only got enough for one attack, so we'll make it a big one. Oof, that was a good hit. Uh, pop insult on him, so at 10% more chance to hit. Yeah, he's in a bad he's in a bad situation. Luckily he's holding up two of their characters, the other one's stuck up there. Um Where's that other character over there? Gonna counter attack. Hopefully, won't do as much damage though. <clears throat> We're going guard stance, so we don't have any chance to dodge, but it gives us um, 
It gives us um, 5% extra uh, damage reduction. A new round has started. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. He's gonna die. He's so gonna die. The heavy armor does keep us somewhat safe as long as they don't as long as they don't land any crits. Because crits penetrate they do extra damage and they penetrate your armor. And so they're pretty lethal. The tension apron. Oh, Rano the bold that was around somewhere. And he might, I'm not sure if he's in this fight. No, he's in this fight actually. He had some valiant actions in the previous battle. There's Pirano in the Mohawk over there. I couldn't have made it to this guy to be able to heal him in time. But alas, no. What's that little... Oh, what's that little gold icon? Oh, Liberator's Boon, right. That's because he's got that. Interesting. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I should... See if we can. Uh, mm, nice. Big crit. Um, the only problem with this um, guy is he's got a heavy armor. Oh, he's got light armor, actually. He's got light armor and a shield. Drop our uh, war cry. They're gonna reach. No, only brother wolf cop the got the war cry. Alas. back maybe and double teamed him instead of the um instead of the warrior priest you're like i keep getting x -cummed. yeah that's that's modheim baby no, that's all right we're uh, we're getting there that miss yeah he needs some help here um, he's not going to do too well in prolonged combat with this hero he's just religiously ex uh, in ex religiously insulting this guy every turn yeah. 
Oh. Brutal. Yeah, I think some of our guys aren't going to walk away from this one. Here's Pirano. Paranoix character. A new round has started. Oh. I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and kill a couple of these guys quick before we lose any more. Yeah, I think that that um that isolated yeah this guy is gonna die and get looted. I think. Oh shit! <laughs> like I don't even know if he should attack this turn. This, this guy's only got three movement because he's got heavy armor and a peg leg. We probably could have just kept avoiding him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We could get you can get a um you can get a skill that gives you um extra crit chance. Um, I think it costs two extra red pills, but it gives you an extra extra crit chance. Um, so yeah, maybe we should try and get that. Nice. And 80 over 65. Yeah, so with one more kill, maybe we could end it. We could get around. Uh... Yeah, I don't have enough movement with this guy. If he could, if he could get around the back of. Um... Yeah, no, nah. nowhere near. delay on him let this guy war cry crap Fuck. <laughs> Wish that guy would die. Ah, there we go. Glory. Can't make it. I need soldier to rescue this guy, but I can't, can't make it. It's too far. Um, sixty-three over sixty-five. Oh, they're actually they're actually below their route threshold right now. So if we can, if they can, um, yeah, if we can get it, if they can fail their route test now, then um, they won't have a chance to loot my dude. Don't fail me, soldier. Gotta rescue that guy. Rescue or rescue his greatsword more 
more specifically, if they loot that great sword. It's um, really bad. Glory. Here, ah, fuck. Here, here. Don't do that. Around here. Yeah. And then there. Ah, can't quite make it. Crit 76 damage with a one hander. <laughs> Men are fun to make and easy to find. A good sword, not so much. Indeed. Oh, yeah, so um, now that we've stunned him, we'll disengage. And that leaves this spot open so we can get another guy in there to have another crack at him. Shield of Absorption. Range resistance. Now, Sigma Hammer of Fury. Mm, yeah. Not really what we want, but it's alright. Um, I'm going to just not... I'm just going to not attack him. Because this is their um, leader, so basically he's he's got a special ability there, leader. It's sort of like um, it's sort of like um, what do you call it? It's sort of like the um, Empire Merc's um, parry uh, special parry skill. Basically means that if he if he dodges, he gets minus one um, cost to counterattack. So basically, if I hit him, if I swing at him and he dodges it, then he'll get a free attack on me, um, which will probably which will kill me. So, yeah. So we're just going to insult him. So just in case anyone else gets to have a swing at him. And then we're just going to uh, sit quietly and pray for life. They're gonna have to get. They're gonna have to make a uh, morale test before they get to kill anyone else in mine. So there's a chance. This, this guy's stunned, so we can charge him. Hundred percent chance to hit. Boom, and then we can disengage for free. Make room for another guy. Get him out of the way. Alright, nice. Now they've still got they've still got their leader, who's the guy that's beating up on our lone our lone guy. Um, so there's a pretty good chance they're gonna pass their leadership test. Which sucks. Which means that, you know, they're still we're, they're gonna keep fighting after they kill him. I mean after they're like yeah. Like they are gonna have to make a route test, but they're probably gonna pass it. Because they've still got their leader there and he's got probably got high leadership. Why? Let me reach him. Fuck. I need. I need an adrenaline. Oh, maybe. Actually, maybe we can do this. We can do this. 
All right, let's uh, let's go through the building. So we go like through there. can't charge him so yeah. oh, oh, what I can do is ambush stance yeah yeah that way when he drops him if he tries to loot him if he moves at all to loot him then we'll charge and intercept and he won't be able to loot a new okay. round has started oh yeah, yeah. beautiful yeah! oh bro we're still gonna steal our precious great swords we didn't even see I didn't even bother looting a single item zero 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 it was just all about survival. That was funny. That was like a brutal mission, so it wasn't even as dead. It wasn't even a deadly, but it was like just because the start position was so we were just straight into it. It was pretty crazy. When the Baron hears how you decimated the enemy, he will be as pleased as a halfling in a pie shop. Yeah, that's... he may even send a bit of gold by way of gratitude. Yeah, it was unlucky that the hero went down, but. We, um, we should, st once we start getting these higher level characters, we should start giving them items, like giving them healing drafts, giving them um, luck trinkets. You can get a luck trinket so that if you know that you're going to go down, you use your luck trinket and it means you're much less likely to get crippled. Um, so we can probably start trying to get those on all of our main characters. Well, in all of our characters, but starting with our most <sighs> important. Gunner, Gunner Jorg. Gunner Jorg is gone. Oh, it should be this side, shouldn't it? Sorry. Oh, well. Any any equipment is returned to the Warband's equipment reserve. Yes! The, the greatsword is saved. It's over for this one. Brutal. Remarkable. Nice progress. Less per paranoiac. Up to the late now. He got his fifth arm um, red pill, so he finally doesn't suck anymore. Got a luck trinket, so for next time, we can put that on our other. We'll put that on our other champion, so he doesn't die. Man, I've been leveling up that champion for ages. I finally got um, double uh, Master Frenzy on him, so he can actually he can actually lay down some pain. But uh, yeah, his watch his watch is ended. We shall not see his like again. Nearly up to level four. Once we get to level four, we'll get toughness, leadership, and weapon skill books. Pretty good. Oh, and we get a free rank seven captain. Oh, that's actually really good. So we're only 200 away. So we could probably get 200 in like two missions. So um, yeah, so we'll get a free rank seven captain. So that'll replace our other crippled one. So that'll be good. Um, yeah, you don't get champions, unfortunately. Check out how many points you get when you go up a level. Pretty awesome.
don't know if we should go for like more strength or more toughness. 318 is pretty good. 324. 329. I don't know. He's got Hardy already. Yeah, he's got Hardy already. Um. Three twenty nine instead of three eighteen or eighty eight damage instead of eighty four. Uh, I feel like the yeah, I feel like outgoing damage is really good, except for if one of you guys gets caught by himself and then you want those extra hit points. Mm, yeah, all right, we're gonna give uh his name's Fellhand. Ah oh, no, I'll give him yeah, I'll give him extra hit points. Why not? Um his soldier. Soldier Yeah, soldier's always like throwing his life on the line. So we'll need to give him uh give him extra toughness. Fell hand? Is he a pirate? No, he's fell handed. He's got he's like a hammer hand. He strikes down his foes. This is Cascopi the Forlorn, the one that was dueling that um, enemy captain the whole time. Managed to hang in there. Insulting away. There's a mighty uh, brother wolf. Now uh, you young blood, he's a bit of a useless prick, but Maybe one day he won't suck as much. Sergeant Chisson. Yeah, he's pretty much built. He just needs maybe. Yeah, maybe um, the five percent extra. Defense. <laughs> Big boy. All right, cool. Got you fired up to start a new um, Warhammer Warband. Oh, Witch Hunter Warband. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, I think. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like. Um, I feel like I really do like the Warrior Priest with the Merc Warband though, because of the heavy armor. Um, I mean, you know, you can go like two warrior priests, two Templar knights, um, and have like that heavy armor that way. But, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, these guys are pretty cool. What are they, what are they, where's, uh, which one's... Yeah, so what's his fell hand? He's got fifty percent damage resistance from his helmet and his chest piece, and then he can go up to fifty-five with guard stance, and then uh, he get plus twenty from armor of righteousness, so he can get up to seventy-five percent damage reduction. Pretty cool, and he's just a normal dude. Um, um this guy got mastery so you got another five percent so you can get up to 80 percent damage reduction with the with the spell from the from the warrior priest so yeah so if we can get yeah if we can get some more um if we can pick up some more hammers and um devotion enchant them and get another warrior priest um then yeah potentially i, I reckon if we had two warrior priests then um and maybe and a new lord, then I reckon would be um, bell handed should be skilled with an axe. Yeah, <laughs> then um, yeah, then that'd be pretty cool. I think choosing world band is one of the things that takes me forever to do anyway. I like the mercs, but I've never beaten it with the witch hunters. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've never beaten it with any of them. Um, I've done. I think I've done one or two of the story quests with one of the factions, maybe vampires. I'm not sure. 
But um, but yeah, I don't think I've even yeah, I don't know, so long ago I don't remember it. Um, and um, yeah, I don't think I've done any of the Merc ones, so I've got all that to look forward to. But anyway, guys, I um, yeah, I gotta go, so um, I will leave it there. Thanks so much for your uh, generosity, soldier. I'm happy that your namesake didn't die today. I'm sure he will die before too long, though. But um, but hopefully he'll last a bit longer. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see if I can check a host over to somebody. But I'll uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good night, everyone.